Hello! Uh, in this video I'm gonna show my latest uh, quadcopter setup. Uh, I converted my uh, DDI F450 to a black sheep uh, discovery frame and I designed and printed a, a 3D printable gimbal on it here. Yeah, I bought uh, a brushless uh, gimbal for my F450 from uh, Good Luck Buy, and it's uh, this uh, gimbal I bought. It's made of aluminum, and it includes uh, a Lexmos uh, controller and two motors. Yeah, and here is my F450 with the brushless gimbal. And uh, I used the uh, GoPro as FPV cam also, and I didn't like it at all. Uh, it's really hard to fly FPV and having the image stabilized. You don't know what the angle the quad is or anything like that, so it's very hard. And also, if uh, filming with the wide mode in the GoPro, the, the mode I like to film with you can see the arms of the quadcopter and uh, I don't like that I want to have a unobstructed image when I fly and film yeah the reason I bought the brushless gimbal was I wanted to be able to film when it's, it's more windy outside uh, I live in Sweden and here in the fall and the winter it tends to be more windy so uh, I could have bought a TBS Discovery Pro that already has a brushless gimbal on it but uh, it's very expensive and I already have the parts and uh, it's more funny to do things yourself so I bought a standard Discovery. The first thing I did when I got my TBS frame was to cut it apart. I removed the front of the plates, both the upper and lower plate, and I also removed the FPV camera mount on it, so it got a straight cut all over. Yeah, I designed uh, a 3D printable gimbal in SketchUp using the parts from the Good Luck Buy gimbal. It's uh, fully suspended, and it's very well balanced, and it's also in the center of the quad. Making I had to move the FPV cam a bit so it uh, will be able to be good balanced and I think it works uh, very well. Uh, I looked before I made it on uh, gimbals uh, that already was uh, designed for the black sheep uh, frame but they extended so far in the front and then I have to move the battery further back and I I wanted as a compact quad as possible so uh, that's uh, why I re did a own design and then I printed the parts on my Ultimaker Yeah, and I, it uses my standard uh, GoPro mount I designed before that I use in all my GoPro mount projects that holds the GoPro with the rubber band. It's very nice. Yeah. It's basically these parts and it together they weigh about 30 grams. And the old parts from the mount that was in aluminum it weighs uh, about uh, 100 grams so I save a lot of weight on those yeah, and here is how it looks on my black sheep frame you see it's cut off all the way both uh, the top plate and bottom plate and fully suspended and FPV camera is here And if I want to tilt this down, I just take a lighter here and heat it up a bit and manually bend it down a bit, so that's very easy to adjust the angle on that. Yeah, I'm gonna take it apart and show you the things inside it. Yeah, I have now taken apart uh, my quad and 
I show you a flight unit. I use the DJI NASA, uh, the old white one. And if you have that, remember to put tape on the side so the sun doesn't hit it or the light doesn't hit it because it's light sensitive. And if the sun comes from the side in dawn or dusk, it will drop from the sky. And I have GPS on it for position home and ret return to home and stuff. And for uh, radio control, I use my FR Sky receiver with my lovely Taronis radio. And I use two analog inputs. One goes to the standard uh, FR Sky voltage divider, uh, so I can measure voltage. And uh, the Trappy frame also have a built-in current sensor that I have connected the other input uh, on my FR Sky receiver to. So on my Taranis radio. I, when I fly I can see current draw, amp, watts and milliamp consumed and stuff so I always know that and have that directly in the radio as telemetry. Uh, and uh, one nice thing with the trappy frame is that it's like a circuit board. You have a lot of wires inside so I only use one wire to from the receiver to the NASA unit I use PPM some out from it and the other wise is the telemetry, the current sensor and voltage sensor and it goes through the board and comes out here and also one channel goes all the way forward here and uh, I use it to tilt this up and down when I fly and here is the brushless uh, Alexmos controller and uh, here is how the uh, GoPro gimbal is mounted it's just slide it on on the existing pins that are on the trappy frame so and it's fully suspended and I also have a FPV camera here because as I said before it's very scary to fly with the camera stabilized if you only look through the camera so I'm going to get a video switch so I can choose between the camera in flight but I'm still waiting, I have ordered one but I'm still waiting for it and here is my FPV transmitter it's a 5.8 gigahertz it goes to my fat shark goggles and here is just the LC filter I have to power this and uh, the FPV camera to clean the power a bit and also here I have a 5 uh, amp uh, 5 volt UBEC to power the GoPro in the video out cable so I never need to worry about the GoPro running out of batteries yeah, that's uh, my black sheep frame. I really like it so far. Have a nice day and goodbye.